Um, if you think back maybe 20 years ago to uh, the first big viruses, they were all email born. Uh, viruses like the Melissa virus, the I love you virus, they had hundreds of millions of victims. So very, very uh, large scale dissemination, but they didn't really do anything. So they were just sort of a nuisance for businesses. Today, the number of attacks is much, much smaller. So we see attacks with a population of one, but that attack is targeted to Equifax or the Democratic National Committee uh, or to Sony. And so the implication, the cost, the impact of these attacks is you know, several orders of magnitude higher. Uh, and so overall, the damage done by cyber attacks has been steadily rising. And so in terms of economic terms, um, you know, are businesses winning the fight against cyber? No, no, we have to do more. Well, this, the question that people ask is, okay, if we're not winning the fight, what do we do? And you know, the answer is you could try harder with existing approaches, um, but it certainly feels, even to the common uh, observer, we're reaching a point of diminishing returns where coming up with a slightly smarter machine learning algorithm or a slightly better set of signatures, uh, is that really gonna make me safer? And so, you know, at VMware, we have a totally different idea, which is as opposed to trying to focus on identifying the things that we know to be bad, what if we focus on the things that we know to be good and we can wrap them with protection? And that is a, a radical new approach to security that I think is highly additive to that which exists today. One of my favorite topics is understanding the difference between intrinsic security and integrated security. Um, many infrastructure companies focus on integrated security, which takes existing security products and packages them, let's say, as a blade in a data center switch, right? And I actually, in my past life, I ran the firewall business where we built a blade and we put it in a switch and we sold tons of that. That's convenient, but it doesn't fundamentally change what that firewall does. It's still the same firewall. At VMware, we talk about intrinsic security. And what intrinsic security means is that we take advantage of functionality that is intrinsic to our platform. And our platform is virtualization. And so we have the ability to introspect and understand what's happening in an application in a very unique way because we booted the application. So the idea behind focusing on the known good is, is if you look at what the, the security industry is doing as a whole, they're using a variety of techniques, whether it be signature analysis, reputation analysis, sandboxing. These are all designed to answer the question, I've seen this or I've seen something like this before and I know it to be bad. So that's the known bad. And we're saying that's an important part of the answer, but not the part that we focus on. We focus on the known good, which is if you know how a server in your data center is running and you know exactly you know, how that should be behaving, you can, you can draw an envelope around possible behaviors for this application, and anything that's outside of that envelope is suspect and should be stopped. Perimeter firewalls are designed to, to solve a very particular problem, which is how do I filter traffic from an almost infinite number of unknown hosts, unknown servers, that are sending random traffic into me and I gotta figure out what's good and bad. And so they do things like reputation filtering, um, uh, URL filtering, antivirus signature analysis, sandboxing. They're all trying to figure out friend from foe. But for internal traffic, it's almost like a completely different design center from an engineering standpoint. As opposed to dealing with an infinite number of unknown servers, you're dealing with a very finite number of extremely well-known servers. Like there's no random servers running in your data center. You know exactly what's running in there, and you know how it should behave. And so by focusing on this internal problem, it allows us to develop that pattern of known good and build security enforcement capabilities that is specific to the internal, or what we sometimes call east-west use case, which is very, very different than what a perimeter firewall does.